I became interested in air pollution several years ago when, based on my clinical experience, I concluded that my patients with asthma were becoming more difficult to treat. By this, I mean that my asthmatic patients were having more frequent exacerbations of asthma and they, their disease was re requiring stronger medicines to control their symptoms. My observation is supported by statistics from the Pennsylvania Department of Health indicating that mortality due to asthma in Cumberland County is greater than the state average. Seeking an ex explanation for these observations, I learned that air quality in Cumberland County does not meet federal standards. Each day, the Environmental Protection Agency determines the air quality index by measuring five pollutants in ambient air. These pollutants are lead, ozone, nitrous dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and particulate matter. This particulate matter is commonly called PM 2.5. The American Lung Association has noted that the particulate matter content of ambient air in Cumberland County does not meet federal standards. In fact, ambient air in Cumberland County has been ranked the 24 most polluted county in the United States based on the PM 2.5 level. The source of this particulate matter is diesel exhaust. Diesel exhaust is made up of two components. The first is the gaseous phase, which is composed of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and volatile hydrocarbons. The solid phase is composed of elemental carbon, or soot, to which 40 known toxic compounds are bound and three of which are known carcinogens. The size of this particulate matter is 2.5 microns or 1 20th the size of a human hair. When we breathe in air containing this particulate matter, these particles are able to penetrate the deepest recesses of the lung, causing inflammation and exacerbations of lung disease. I wish to emphasize the significance of the particle size 2.5 microns. Medications to treat lung disease are often administered by the inhalation of aeros aerosols. These can be generated by the use of a nebulizer which generates a liquid aerosol or by meter dose inhalers. Over the years, much research has been done to determine the ideal particle size to deliver medication to the deepest part of the lungs. And guess what? That particle size is 2.5 microns, exactly the same particle size that is generated in diesel exhaust. Only in the case of PM 2.5, the particles are carrying toxic substances into the lung rather than medications. So as the advertisement of a popular asthma medicine states, small particle size can make a big difference. Breathing diesel exhaust that com contains PM 2.5 can cause exacerbations of lung disease such as asthma or emphysema and can precipitate heart attacks. Populations which are particularly at risk include children and the elderly with pre-existing heart and lung disease. Diesel admissions also contain three carcinogens which can cause bladder cancer and lung cancer. Finally, studies have shown 
that breathing diesel exhaust can delay lung development in children, which can be a permanent defect. I believe pollution from diesel exhaust is a cause of many adverse health effects in Cumberland County and would ur urge our population to support efforts at improving air quality in our community. Is that a mask? That is a mask of a, a, a dock worker on the Miracle Mile for an eight-hour shift. When you can't breathe, nothing else really matters.